In other news this afternoon, we have new information after a three year old boy and a man are rescued from an early morning house fire. That fire started in Detroit at a two unit home on Lakewood Street right near Mack Avenue. You're looking at a video there from the scene. Investigators believe the fire was an accident and started somewhere in the kitchen. Let's go live now to our Nick Monticelli who joins us more with a look at the investigation. Nick. Everett, good afternoon to you. So if you look over my left, my right shoulder here, you can see inside of the home or what is left of this house. It is an amazing story, though, as the father of some of the children inside was going back and forth trying to rescue the kids that were inside of this home. I want to take you over here now. The American Red Cross is actually here as we speak trying to help the family. But in the meantime, that father and three-year-old boy, they're in the hospital in critical condition. The fire started while they were asleep. They came out without no clothes on, no shoes, nothing. Not that there's a good time for a fire, but one in the middle of the night is the worst. My son-in-law called me at 3.30, 4 o'clock this morning and told me that the house caught on fire. Edna Paul says her two daughters, their husbands, and six of her grandchildren live here, or used to live here, and her son-in-law and grandson are in critical condition in two different hospitals. Stephen and Jason are both heavily sedated from burns and smoke inhalation. Jason, who is just three, appears to be the worst off. My grandson, he was had a got a tube down his throat. He got burns on his left side. They transferred him to Children's Hospital to the burn unit. It was Jason's dad going back and forth, getting all of the kids out until he collapsed inside. Detroit firefighters rescued both from the burning home. Yeah, they got stuck and they got burnt and they got soot in, in their mouth and throat and he got burnt down in his throat. It's just too much. Now, both of those, again, they are in critical condition inside of the hospital. Jason is at Children's. Stephen is at Receiving. Now, again, the American Red Cross is here. We just saw them bringing blankets and some stuffed animals over to the family to bring to the children. I am told that Jason has a tube in his throat to try to help with some breathing because his lungs are still filled with soot. Uh, his family tells me that both of them are uh, heavily sedated because they are in so much pain. All right.